roll my board too. So, is that Joe Lee here? Joe Lee? Okay, well, Joe Lee, I, I selected you as the winner, and you're not here, so I'll send you an email. Fix your okay, Negotiate about the prize. And, and the second. the next one. I'm got it. Okay, the, oh, sorry, the runner up. Okay, let me read the runner up. It's Sam McIntyre. Is Sam McIntyre here? Oh, Sam right. McIntyre. Okay. Wow, what a fixing off there. What a letdown. Okay, so first I'm going to read. Uh, I, I, okay, I'll read the, the runner ups. Okay, this is a professional instructor that has done this before. So, so he, he named this piece Stars and Shackles. In this evocative piece, visionary anti establishmentarianism junkyard artist Javier de la Blaise conjures up themes of bondage, misplaced patriotism, and the tragedy of love. The sculpture created entirely from reclaimed materials, single sourced from an abandoned Des Moines, Iowa junkyard, represents the ultimate futility of the struggle for oneness in in our cis heteronormative socioeconomically straighted world. The mannequin's anterior tassel contains a lock of the artist's hair, dyed red to represent modern societal subversion of the human condition. Ooh. Right? Yes. How can I not pick that one? Well, yeah. Yeah. He's, gonna get he's gonna get a good prize. Okay. But the winner, um, Joe Lee, wish Joe was here, I would have had I would have had these guys read with um, read their statement here. But, uh, okay, this one's called Lady America's Grenade Comes Home to Roost. The discursive formations undergirding the figure of the pure nation state, represented by white womanhood, are exposed in a grotesque amalgamation of cyborg identity and, and militarism. Once the romanticized symbol of nationhood, the deformed female body teeters on the brink of symbolic suicide. Oh, wow, heavy. Okay, there you go. Woo! Hopefully they'll choose good prizes. So.